Go. All right. Okay. So, guys. Uh, good morning, guys. And welcome to another episode of TSM and another day in the life of Vincent. Come on in, guys. Let's check it out. So, this year has been my home since December. Um, before that, I was pretty much couch surfing for about a good 10, who knows, 15 years. Probably as long as I've been skateboarding because, you know, skateboarders love couch surfing. I don't know, I can have a home, but for some reason I'm gonna go surf on this couch. So yeah, before this, I didn't really have a stable home. So this shit means a lot to me to have. Like, I got it in December for about, what, $2,200. Since then I've put about a good 1,500, almost another two grand into it, and it's been keeping me fucking going. Its name is Eli Van Owen. Uh, I love it, it's my fucking, it's my life. So I've been doing the whole van life. Everything I need and everything I fucking want is inside this van. One, you always need little Morty. He shook all the time. This guy, he's been through some shit. You stay there, little Morty, you're, you're safe. So most of this shit didn't work when I got it. Um, the little lighter thing didn't work. The fucking tape thing didn't work. I had to literally learn how to pull this shit off and fix all of it, which it wasn't that much big things to do. Mm -hmm. Or it wasn't that much crazy shit, but to be honest, all it is is just unscrewing shit, looking at little pieces of copper and all this random shit. And yeah, you fucking learn. And I learned how to make this shit happen. I've also fixed a couple little things, but I'm no fucking mechanic, okay? Like, I know I'm not my dad. So I'm just like learning how to make this shit work while I have it because yeah, when that shit didn't work, the fucking cigarette lighter thing, I couldn't charge shit. So the only places I can go is as much as I had portable, portable fucking chargers and shit like that. And once those shits died, I had to come back home. Mm -hmm. So after that happened, I got a fucking battery <laughs> and I rigged that shit to pretty much charge everything I had to that. And that shit was going pretty good for a while, for about, like I say, a month or two. And then that shit died. And then I couldn't go nowhere. So I literally had to learn how to fix this shit. And what it is, it's called the fucking doghouse. You pull this whole shit off, you untie all these things like this right here, you'll end up pulling up all these shits like that, and this whole shit right here pops off. Like, it'll pop off this whole shit, and that's how you pretty much work the engine. Wow. You, yeah, you work on it through, through this shit, because through the front, it doesn't really let you do too much. So you would have to take this whole shit off, and then that's how you work through the whole fucking engine. That's just fucking sick that's as fuck. That's unheard of. I know. That, that, a lot of people don't I've know never, that shit about I've man. I've never seen that in my life. Yeah, it's called. That's what it's, it's called. The doghouse, like like straight up, like one of those little doghouses. You put a dog in, it's fucking tight. That's what it looks like if you were to pull it off and put it upside down. It looked like a straight up doghouse. Yeah, you know anybody else with this situation? Uh, like a lot of people. A lot. Uh, a lot of people have to with vans. A lot of people have to like. This is what you get used to working on it through. So that's why like a lot of mechanics they don't fuck around with vans because they don't work on it through the front. They have to do this shit, and, and, it's, and it's, yeah, shit, it's different yeah. for them. It's way different for a lot of people. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been pretty fun, like, learning the whole shit about it. But it, at the same time, it is fucking, like, it's super difficult. That's crazy. So fucking crazy shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that's the, that's the, I would say, the cockpit or, you know, mm -hmm. the head of the van. And then we'll get to the, to the, <laughs> I, I don't know, I would call it the living room, sort of. Cause I know that in the back is the bedroom because you know, that's where the magic happens. So yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I know that that's the bedroom for sure. So I guess this would be somewhat of like the living room. You can, this is usually what I do it like from a night when I'm just chilling or when I'm finally about to call it a night and I want some privacy, just pop this shit off and then you just close this shit off. So you Rip know, it off from the world. Yeah, we're chilling, dude. So yeah, I'll end up just closing that, close that. And I got my own little space right here. It's actually, really fucking dope to be honest dude like it, it's not what it would look like from the outside from the outside it looked like some pretty whack shit's probably going on in here but like you come inside and it's just a fucking skateboarder on his phone posting on his instagram you know it's no big deal take some dabs here and there you know that's it we got a little cooler right here if you ever need any food you know <laughs> that's everything you gotta have peanut butter and jelly that shit will always survive you gotta have some cup of noodles you gotta have an extra cooler inside the cooler you also got to have some edibles at all times. And then what else we got in there? Yeah, more wax for some reason. I don't know why I have that much wax. <laughs> and then, yeah, let's see what else. What else has she got? It got all my shoes, everything we need under there. We got some roller blades right here in case you want to get a little tricky with motherfuckers. Let's see what else. Hell yeah. I got my stencil back there. I got all my shit. Oh, let's go to the backpack. Let's get 
Yeah, this so much. It's a trip. Yeah. I barely realized. Like, dude, you barely realized like how much it has. I can still go on top. You got a dope setup, bro. Yeah, I've been going on the roof a lot lately in it. So yeah, it has this shit. You open up the back. You pop these two open like that. All right, let's see. So, of course, you got to have your professional signature board that you you know always have to have on deck. Let's see. What else do we have? We gotta have always fluids. You gotta have more oil for this shit. You gotta have your backpacks. We got some some fucking. Um, uh, we have everything in here, dude. As a matter of fact, it's overwhelming. We, you always gotta have some fucking cones just in case you wanna like, you know, make a whole big ass scene somewhere. Yeah, you wanna make a scene somewhere? Like, yo, I'm parking right here. Don't come around my fucking van. You got that. You got more skateboards, of course. Here, this is my first pro model that I made, actually. Check this one out. Look, I, I would like to show you guys how it's shifted a lot because when I designed this one, this is uh, nothing what I wanted it to be, but I'm happy it came out like wow, this. Wow, that's like a matte. It's like a matte one, yeah. See, it, was, it didn't come out. Sick. It's trippy, right? Like, I, I wanted it to be like this when it came out, like originally. Like, this is the one, I, I call it the new and improved because I wanted yeah. it to look like oh, this. Oh, that's a dipped one, huh? It's, it's, a, it's shiny and Damn. it's at a tilt. Like, it's, it's bigger on the bottom. That shit's bigger. It's trippy. Like, there's certain little things that, like, um, I added to that one, too. Like, shit going. this is a new one that. A, the original dagger would just be like that. I wanted him to start adding this new little effect that a lot of people don't notice, and it's like this little blood drip right there. And I wanted to be doing that more and more and more as the years go along so they can see how much more it's just fucking bleeding. <laughs> and if you look at it on my new one, you also notice that it drips off from the top right there now, from that one as well, onto the top right there. And there's like little details like that that people don't notice, and I think it's fucking dope. Like the cool little shit. It's a trip. See, so like on this one, that wasn't a thing right there. And I'm happy that we got to improve little shit like that. You wouldn't see that right there. That one has it down there. But see, I even added it more, I believe, on this one. When I'll show you the new one, it's dripping even more. So it's just going to be more and more blood. More chaos, more blood, more everything. So yeah, this is where the magic happens, you know? Like, <laughs> and why by magic, I mean this is where I sleep. So yeah, like... Um, it looks like it'd be a little bit too small for me, which it kind of is, so I have to sleep like this. Watch, I'll show you. This is how you would catch Vincent slipping in here. So your boy would just post up like this, and then I'd be deuces for the night. And that's it. <laughs> it's so funny, yeah, because I'm tall as shit. So yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I need a lot of fucking room, dude. Like a lot, but that, it works, dude. Like straight the fuck up when I, when I got it. Dude, it, yeah. it was already up, so it was just like a seat in the back, and then they told me it laid down, and I never put it down. And then the first time I put it down, I started sleeping in. I was like, "Fuck this! I'm not gonna put it back up. I'm never gonna put this shit back up. I'm gonna be sleeping because I, I was literally doing that every night. I would put it down and put it back up and put it down. It's fucking stupid. Now I just leave it down, dude. And now it just goes down. All right. Okay. So yeah, that's like what the back of this big ass shit's looking like. I was supposed to take her a bath and she got, she got real mad at me that I didn't give her a shower. Like she was bitching on the way over here like, you're supposed to shower me. And I got all mad and stuff. So yeah, uh, next time, I, now I gotta give her a shower later on. Cause everything else, I cleaned the inside and all that. But she's like, what about my outside? Like she didn't get to get dressed up and shit. She got all mad at me. It's amazing how everything fucking fits in here too. Everything has odor. <laughs> I've never had this much odor in my whole life. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's lit. All it takes is a van or something like that to like, you know, really make you get your shit together. One thing in life, right? Yeah, dude. That trip. one thing is like, I got to get this shit together. Yeah, because I had nothing before this, dude. Like, literally everything I had for some reason, I keep on fucking losing it somehow in some way. And like, that shit really fucks with you, you know? Like, it fucks with your whole self-esteem. It fucks with your whole reality of life because you just want to grow and shit like that. And you just keep on fucking going up them stairs and just getting knocked the fuck back down dude and i would say fuck that dude I, I kept on running up those fucking stairs dude like you can't give up on that shit if you do you fucking have nothing and it sucks to have nothing that's why you can't give up <laughs> so yeah so yeah this is the vessel which we will be traveling in today she's a 32 year old chevrolet g20 sports van it um is a conversion van. When it originally made it, it didn't come with the top part. It didn't come with the windows like this. It was just a shorter bed. It didn't have nothing inside of it neither. So they take it to a certain fucking thing. Well, here it goes. I'll show you in the back. When it just made it, it would come like this with this one right here. So this is the original 
fucking stamp of that where it was made. When they take it back to the fucking dealer, they fucking go over it and they add all this extra shit to it and they go over that and then they add this one, the cross country one, which makes it a cross country conversion van. So yeah, that's what makes this one a little bit more special and a little bit more different from like everybody else's van. Like that's such a weird thing I think about it too. Cause like literally they could have like took the metal off nothing. They just like put some weird stamp or shit and it just dripped off like that. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, so this is Eli Van Owen. It's also known as the Dagger Wagon or the D-Wagon for short. Yeah. Um, what else can I tell you about this big ass woman? Um, I think that's about it. <laughs> and that's all you need to know about making shrimp and you know <laughs> that's all that that's all the kind of shrimps you can make you know <laughs> <laughs> so that was like right there, like, you can make shrimp gumbo shrimp For stew real. shrimp shrimp kebab shrimp like that and then you find it's just like that that's about that's about all the shrimps you can make like, <laughs> 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 the fucking bubba's sick you're funny bro <laughs> Oh, shit. People don't even notice oh, him. Oh, Bob Ross. Yeah, he's my little Bob yeah. Ross right there. He looks over like everybody who's in the van. He looks over them with their good vibes and everything and makes sure everybody has a little happy ass tree time in here. Happy trees. Such a good time. And he also protects my TV so nobody jacks it. See? Bro got a TV. <laughs> See, nobody knows that though, so yeah, but that TV when I Bro just got, got it, TV. yeah, I got the little TV. No, so it doesn't work. When I just got it, yeah. I try to turn it on, it turned red and it just died, so it's never, turned red but, so this is what I do with that situation. You always got to have like the way that you do things, you know, because yeah. that's van life for you right there, bro. You make shit work all the fucking time. So what, what happens with this shit is I'll take this off. Oh, we'll pop the iPad. I'll pop the iPad just right about there. Boom. Damn. <laughs> so like you know, you you can fix it a little bit better, but that you get the point, right? Like, you. right? Tell me about that. <laughs> Tell me about That's that sick. shit, dude. <laughs> Tell me about it, dude. See, like, come That's on. Sick. You wouldn't even notice that, like, like the bro is fucking doing it in his van over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So see, That's like, active. It is dope, dude. I that love it. And sick. I was also gonna get one of those stupid ass little projectors. I'm thinking about getting just to do it onto there right too. Right there, yeah. Yeah, the little projector would be sick. I've seen this little one on. You know, you see everything on Timu nowadays, dude. I'm like, yeah. I need to get that and 20 other things from Timu. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how like the whole TV situation. But I'll be honest, most of the time I'll just kick it in the back and watch the iPad or post, put it up on like on the back of the seat because yeah. it's uh, I'm not gonna be squinting all far and stuff, Way and I don't have far, a remote yeah. for my iPad. Right. So yeah, this is a shoe I just dropped with um, my skate brand. It's called Terrestro, and it's pretty much owned by Diego Najara's older brother. He's like a very fucking well-known and talented person, dude. He's a fucking comic book artist. He fucking makes clothes, makes shoes. He's an entrepreneur. He does so many fucking things, dude. But the best thing he's done so far is he gave me my own shoe. Fuck yeah, he did. He's a gangster for that one. Thank you so much, Ruben. You're the best. So yeah, I've been working on this one for about like half a year. It's nothing too, too crazy. It's my first shoe. Don't judge me too hard, you know? But at least it's not a fucking colorway. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I was really happy about. I, I did not want a colorway when I got my first shoe. So to be able to design my own shoe, to make it for how I actually like to skate, it's pretty fucking kick ass. And I'm pretty fucking stoked for once in my life. Cause I wasn't raised to be proud of myself and to fucking appreciate things I did. So for me to start learning how to do it as an adult, it's going, it's going well now. And I'm pretty happy about it. But it did take a lot of fucking work to get to that point. And this is it. <laughs> I even trip out. I've, I've already been wearing it for like about a week. So it's brand new to me. Like I just got, this is like not even my size. This is a size 12, but I, it's like the sample one and I'm just trying it out. I shouldn't even be wearing it, but fuck that. I got to skate my own shoe. It's pretty gangster. You'll get to see me skating it today at the competition. and You'll see why I'm a good skater. It's because of this shoe, I guess. You no, know, they drop at the end of July right now. Um, people are, can pre-order them and shit. It goes from size seven all the way up to size 14. And you can pre-order them right now um, on terrestrobrand.com, www.terrestrobrand.com. Or you can hit the link in Vincent's bio and it'll take you right to the pre-order thing because there's only 200 pairs being made. I get 25 pairs of them 
so I can advertise them myself. So only 175 pairs are gonna be sold and it's like a limited run. So once they're done, they're fucking done. And we'll probably work on a new one, you know? So I'm pretty stoked about it. Ooh. All right guys, welcome. This is the Dagger Warehouse. Uh, this is in Fullerton, California, and we make all of our shit right here. Everything. We make our boards here from scratch to from beginning till end, and that's how we like it, and that's how we keep it. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So this is our warehouse. This is Dave Weem. This is the man's of all man's. This is the person who I call when I need something, and he helps me out with everything I need. Um, this is the person you'll catch here on a day-to-day -day basis, else with, along with Scott Bigsby, and that are the two people that fucking make everything happen. Two people make all of this shit happen, and now that we're growing and we're getting bigger, we're starting to have a bigger team come on, like me, so we can make more boards, but these two people alone pump out at least 50 boards a day and shit, and that's what keeps the board, the company going. Yeah, two fucking people, dude. Trip out, all huh, right? Two yeah, people. Yeah. I hope you guys are ready to start sanding. Cause yeah, and now you guys are going to get to help us sand at home, too. <laughs> so, yeah. We have all of our molds on the wall. We can pretty much make every one of those fucking skateboards. We can make as many of them as we want, whatever shape we want at all. Like, we have all of these molds. So, if you don't know what a mold is at home, a mold is the original shape to where you make a skateboard from. So you can start with, you'd start with these pieces right here. You'd use seven pieces of this right here. And then after you grab seven of these, you take them onto the gluing thing. You put them seven pieces, you put two pieces at a time through with the glue. And then you end up putting them on the back side over here. You put seven of them together. After you put the seven together, you're gonna put them on that press back there. That press is gonna put a shit ton of fucking uh, pressure all the way down to where it smashes all those seven fucking pieces as hard as it can, and they're stuck together. After you do that, you're gonna take it down. Where's the shaving thing at? Um, this is the next thing, right? Yeah, we drill the holes next. After you do the fucking, yeah, okay. After you do the fucking that, you drill the four holes. Sorry guys, I'm still learning this myself too. Here, we're gonna drill the four holes. After that, my CEO here will take it from here. Yeah, then from there, we take it over to, well, but first we, we trace out, like say that this is a template. Mm -hmm. We would put this down on the, top of the, on the top of the pressed wood that we just did, trace it out, mark the holes, then bring it over to this, drill the holes out. Then from there, we have a bottom template that, that rides basically on this. Sorry, the shop's a little, we're in full production mode right now. But uh, it would, it's a flat template and it rides on that bottom bearing and that, that thing spins around probably about a thousand miles an hour and it cuts out our boards and they, they look basically like this when they come out. Here's a perfect example. So this is what they look like when, they, when we shape it. Then we have to route the edges, sand. Here's a, here's a good example of something that's currently sanded. These all need to be routed these two stacks routed and shade or routed and sanded so yeah i mean and then after that was the spray room right yep and then after that bam i know everything i'm learning this shit i'm getting so good at it this is vincent's office yep this is where you would catch me not hot boxing it and so then we bring it in into here we spray uh you know like these boards are all black they're a little dusty from us sanding but um this is pretty much the finished pro whoa, finished product, and then uh, then we put graphics on. Yeah, and then the video come over here. Oh yeah, I gotta take this thing off. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, and then after the black, after the fucking whole black boards dipped or whatever it is, spray painted, we turn this fucker on, and then you hold on for your life. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, this is how you push it down, right? No, that's like emergency stop. Right? Oh yeah, that's in case your hand gets stuck, stuck in there. there. You know, you this fucking push that thing down. This thing's ripping at 200 degrees. Might not. Yeah, be most okay. of all the other shit could fucking cut all your hands off too and stuff. And that's the cool part oh, about easily. it. Very easily. Heat transfer machine. This thing's OG from Ron Mills. Mm -hmm. This thing's. He's like, Ron Mills again. Give him. Give him. Ron him. Mills is like basically the guy who created all the presses and. All the heat transfer machine. The guy's he's he's gnarly, and uh, we actually became pretty good friends. And he's given me a lot of insight on on some of the 
some of the stuff that uh, that he's built, so that way I know how to operate it. That's fucking crazy. You just made everything to make a skateboard, huh? He built the shit to build the skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing I think he, one of the first things he did was for Jerry Madrid. That's tight. He built, and that is actually Jerry's old press. That's sick. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of history in this little little warehouse here. Too much. A lot of history. Damn, we have all these cool boards. They're all dusty, like you said. Oh, yeah, look at this shit. See, we're making a big ass dagger board for some reason. Like, who the fuck is in this keeping big ass dagger board? But isn't that be cool? <laughs> this is a huge ass board, dude. God. You're like that, huh? You're like, all right, here it goes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it. Fuck, imagine. <laughs> Just risk making these ones, dude. These are the ones that are gonna sell to tall people. Well, that's how we met you. <laughs> no, right? Oh, uh, yeah, huh? The first board I ever skated was like a fucking. It was at, uh. It was a. Not the downhill bomb, but it was a fucking. Uh, thing. Yeah, it was a hill bomb by Hellfire shit. And I skated a fucking, like, skim board, right? How old? It how, was big. That shit was, yeah. It was, it was bigger it was than this Yeah, it was bigger than this one. It was, it was too big, actually. It was like a shit of skim board. It was gigantic. It was hilarious. Right? Oh, dude. I told. See, I told him. It's, we call it the ET board because there's ET on it. But it also looks like Garfield. But it's called, uh, yeah, it's called the ET board. That board's sick. I just want to do a tray flip on it so bad. Right, I told you. I told you, <laughs> fucking, I told him. I told you, dude. Dude. I told you. That board's dope, saying, yo. You sat there with, your, with that schmuck look on your face, and you told me, you told me, yeah, he did. He actually yeah, said it would sell, probably. Yeah, he did. Actually, I'm not going to lie. He did say that. <laughs> you know how sensitive when you come here, dude. You don't tell me. Whatever, that. dude. I'm fucking out of here, dude. This is bullshit, all right? This is bullshit. I'm out of here. Fucking hater. This shit, dude. See, he's not sensitive. This will be my... All right, this will be my new shape. It's kind of weird. It's like, it's inspired by Aaron Murray's shape mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. That one, the little sharp one. Yeah. With all the edges. Because you know, it's oh, a wow. fucking sick. Yeah, dope, yeah, it's inspired by that one. It's actually inspired by that one, and it's inspired by Andy Anderson's board. Wow. Trip yeah. out on that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Trip out on that. So look, it'll be somewhat of that, and it'll be like this. So let me see where is it? Is it this one or that one? Yeah, we're working on it. It's kind of hard to do it though, low key. So it's a popsicle. So we're working on it. It's still in like its prototype phase, and we don't. I don't even know how it's gonna skate, to be honest. But that's the whole point of like having this warehouse and being able to fucking do whatever the fuck we want. That if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, fucking try it again, and we'll do it all over again. And that's cool. Like, that's I think it's one of the best fucking my favorite thing about here. And that's why I'll come back over and over and over. Damn near got a Professor Smith situation going yeah, on. Yeah, we're smitting it up over Type here. Type shit. Sure. Yeah, and it's cool because <laughs> not that many people, yeah, it's so tight. Literally, bro, it's this crazy. This is the one, right? They're both the same? Yeah, I just, I just printed it. Yeah, this is Oh, it's good. It has pop already. That <laughs> bitch rolled up. Damn, that's a good board. That shit rolled up to the yeah, spot. It's good. That means, that means it's going to have pop already. <laughs> See? That's fucked. Those are good signs right there, man. Those mm -hmm. are can't pay for shit like that. Yeah. Here you go. There's the scroll. I yeah. hand this you the scroll this. Oh, thank you, sir. You don't want to catch us these hands this. Or whatever it is. <laughs> 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 so right now, this shit's starting to get super warm. These shits are getting warm, warm, warm. And then, so they can press down. And let's say you make a fucking skateboard. Duh, fucking everybody knows that shit. Well, we gotta find some Let me see him. for the event. Say it again? Oh, well, we got some keychains, you know, duh. I, I got some keychains for everybody at this, this competition. They should love them, let's see. They're little daggers, you know? Yeah. So you could be like, ah, and stab somebody in the eye. Don't really do that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying, in case you wanted to. Yeah, I fuck with them. I'm gonna take like two different colors. There's like a black one and, oh no, I think they're all the same. Oh no, 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 all right, cool. There's a black one and a white one. So yeah, I'm gonna get one of each because you know, I'm a spoiled ass brat. Boom. All right, save these for the kids.
Yeah. Yeah. Who's ready? Mm, that's the finishing product. This is dope, dude. Yeah, I know. So yeah, like I said, we make everything here like it should be made. We don't deal with no bullshit. We don't fucking have to order from somebody else to send to somebody else to, you know, make that much amount of money. We just do it all and we make it all. Yeah, not only that, but you're a skateboarder and you're making, we're making the product. We skate our own product, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like, oh, we'll order from them or this place and, and I think that goes a long way. Yeah. Oh wait, let me put some stickers in there. The Wavenos. They were good. So, <laughs> we just got the order done. He's wrapping up my boards for me to go to Virginia at the end of this month because I have to skate a competition called Jackalope. And we're wrapping up the kids' boards that we're gonna give out today. And then we're on our way to Redland. Yeah, man. There's yours, man. Here goes mine. All right. Kids. Thank you, dude. Yep. You guys going? No. We're good. Peace out. Nice meeting you, sir. You, man. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, hit me up, dude. All right. All yeah. right. Got you, man. Got you. See you guys. So, first thing, I gotta get gas because this shit is what the reason why I don't have no money because all my money goes into gas in it. And my car likes gas, like, a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I just got it, I put like $110 or $150, and it was like, almost filled it up. So I don't even know how much fills this shit up, to be honest. Wow. It's just expensive as <laughs> shit. You got to fill her up to get out there? Nah. It oh, should, okay. She, it'll make it out there like that, like, to fill it up, dude, it'll, I think it'll probably be like, uh, close to like 180 bucks or some this shit. This is fucked. Oh, we got, yeah, and the gas is the best, you know? Yeah. All right, let's oh, see. Yeah, all right. People used to say, this shit's trash. I know, it's, every. I mean, everything's trash to me, to be honest. I'm fucking <laughs> right. Everything's trash because of the price. Everything's trash and everything gives me, gives you cancer and shit like that, you know? Right. So, it's so weird. Yeah. Usually when I just pump gas, you just kind of kick it, take it easy, you know, like try to look hot at the pump, you know, you know how it goes. My life, my life is exactly how it looks, you know, I just try to find out ways to do everything like hot, you know, like the hot way to do it, like, mm -hmm. you know how it goes. All right, I don't know how much money we're going to put in here, but I don't know. Hopefully they're giving out money there so I can make all this money back, you know? Type shit. <laughs> I usually don't compete, but when I do, it's for money. Where are you? <laughs> Alright, I gotta do it like right on the dot. You ready? Ready? Boom. Oh, I went a penny over. Oh, Fuck, shit. man. 30 on one? Hey. That should do it. I mean, I had some gas. I just want to make sure, you know, so I have to pull over later. Fuck that. Alright. Hope you guys are enjoying, uh, you know, our first ever TSM episode of Life with Vanson. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so we'll start it. We'll just be, we're just gonna throw it out there and just be honest about it because you know I'm a very honest person. And you know, I want you guys to really know what my fucking life is like. So, in October of 2023, I was incarcerated. The reason being, doesn't fucking matter. The point is, I got locked up for about a month. And in that month, I had a long time to reflect about shit. And at the same time, I had a long time, I had a good while to sober up. Um, I wasn't really taking care of anything in my life, let alone my mental health. So, when I got out, I started taking medication for my mental health and it's for my anxiety, for my depression, and for my ADHD. And um, since then, one 
gone the opposite of what it did before everything works for me now my life isn't shit I'm not confused all the time I I know what the fuck I want everything just works now for me and and it's because I started taking care of my fucking brain instead of doing the opposite of what I was doing to it's just fucking up fucking it up more so after I got out I started taking my medication after that Things started going up. I started being able to fucking feel things. I started being able to express myself the way I wanted to. I was able to just do things. I started making better choices. I started hanging around different people. I started fucking, I started getting my shit together. So after that, I started saving up. I ended up fucking, started riding for Dagger Skateboards. And when I got on Dagger Skateboards, I, had let them know that I pretty much wasn't gonna do the whole amateur shit no more. I wasn't gonna do the fucking, like, you gotta be on the team shit. I let them know that I'm a fucking professional skateboarder. I skate on a professional level, and if we wanna work shit. together and fucking grow something, then let me put my last name under a board like like what every other skateboarder who skates the way I do, or, or loves skateboard the way I do, um, sorry, loves skateboarding the way I do, would want to do is get your own pro model. You want your own last name under your board. And I told them if they could give me that opportunity, and they did. So shortly after that, I started we started putting boards together or graphics together. We got a graphic going. I got my first pro model. Started selling boards. That started going up. Shortly after that, I got this van. Um, I got the van for two thousand two hundred dollars. I got it on offer up from a person in Temecula, and. I didn't know if it was gonna make it back. I didn't know what the fuck it was to expect. All I knew is I was, I had the money and I was gonna go fucking buy a van. And we drove down there, we bought it from the guy and that's when it started, dude. Like, it was a two hour drive back and the fucking van made it. And um, I didn't know that underneath the muffler had already, like it had a complete fucking hole in it. It blew out like crazy. And uh, I fixed that thing first. That was a good what? four or five hundred dollars um after that i put some new tires on it it had to need, it had to get new tires that was a good another straight four hundred dollars um one second um i fixed the brakes i fixed all the rotors all that shit that was another seven hundred dollars um what else did we fix on this Every other little things, like all the little details of like the windows and the windshield wipers, everything that added up to another hundred dollars. So you guys can do the math. It's been taking like a, a bit of money out of my pocket, but at the same time, I have a home now, and I have a home. I have a vehicle. I'm I'm never fucking shit out of luck anymore, like I was before I bought this shit. And I would say like I'm a way more content person now that like. I actually have a home to go home to because before this I didn't have shit to be honest dude nothing I've never had a place to call my own like that like of course I grew up with my family and shit like that but um, yeah I've never had my own shit so this is pretty cool to have my own shit for, for once and uh, that's what started that whole journey with this shit right here um, but yeah <laughs> that's where that whole thing got me I guess it's the moral of that story is uh, take care of your fucking brains because they'll take you real far in a matter of like seven months dude I've already got in my own my own pro model board I've got in this van uh, which is a home and a vehicle at the same time I've also got in my own shoe now and I would honest to God say that that's because I finally started looking out for myself instead of fucking just doing the opposite of like fucking everything up for myself like <laughs> and it feels good to be able to fucking know that I got my back at the end of the day now and I don't need anybody <laughs> so it's really sick so in around December I started looking up on offer up where to get a van pretty much because I came to the conclusion that I, I can't afford rent or well I could afford rent but it's just wasn't working out with the budget I had and with the amount of money that I had saved so I went on OfferUp and I was on Facebook Marketplace 
and I started looking for vans. I started hitting up numerous fucking people, but it's always a hit or miss on those fucking things and shit. So when I finally came down to the to the one where I found out where I was most likely gonna go and see the first van, or I was probably gonna get it, I found a van in Temecula, which was this one, and I had to drive two hours to find it. It was like 2,000. It was like 2,600 or 2,500. But I got him down to 2,200. Straight up, like, it's the most cash I ever had in my hand ever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I bought it. We drove it down. We drove down there. We bought that shit. We drove it two hours back. And then, yeah, I started to fix it up. Um, the muffler was blown out. I refixed that shit. It came up to like two, three hundred dollars. Um, what else was fucked up? We needed new tires on it. The tires were already going out. Uh, that was a good four bills. <laughs> what else? Um, the whole brake system and all that shit, the rotors, all that shit was shot the fuck out. That was one of the most expensive shit. It came up to like 700 bucks, almost 800. Um, and then other little shit like all around the car and stuff like that. So yeah, it totals up to like, it gets to like five, almost like 5,000, 4,000 dollars that I've already put into it, which is pretty good. Cause it gets me around and like, it is my home and it is my car too so I try to like look out for it I try to change all the fluids all that shit constantly because it actually gets me around like I've gone to fucking what San Diego in it already I go to Redlands like we're going right now numerous times like this shit puts in work so yeah the only problem with it is it stalls out once in a while like it'll turn off and that's usually like at a stop and but it turns on every single time and that's What's the thing in the description when I got it? He's like, it stalls out, but turns on every single time. And it does, it, it literally does. Look, Michael's all scared now and shit. <laughs> I've already learned how to drive it. I pretty much have to drive it like as if you were to drive a stick shift car. Like yeah. you constantly have to have like, but it's, it's only at a stop, like yeah. it's at a stop. So if I'm coming to a stop, instead of me putting my right foot over to the fucking straight, fet, straight fucking brake, it's gonna be like a little bit of brake and still have some gas on it like that. Hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> well, you got to learn how to drive your rig, you know, like, you it's, do. but it's funny, but like, yeah, it's, 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 it's life now. It's life events. In about 10 miles, <laughs> keep left onto CA 91 East toward Riverside. Okay, don't scream at me, bitch. All right. About eight minutes away. Show up, you know, fucking throw a skateboard right when we get there. You know how we fucking do it. Right, and then go right. I think we're almost here. Just cut all these fools off. <laughs> you never know nowadays, you know? Fuckers come out of nowhere. All right, we're three minutes away. All right. Oh, look at all these skate spots, you know? I might just have to make a little pit stop on the way over there. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, yeah, we're getting close. Cause I can tell because we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I don't know, we're just gonna see like a dope ass skate park. <laughs> Scorching. That's scorching. Hot. That's, hot, that's hot shit. For real. Alright, shit around. I feel like that one meme with like the cat that's like that, that's just driving, you know what I'm talking about? It's like right, it's hitting dogs and shit like that, and just like <laughs> that's I feel like most of the time when I'm driving this shit, I'm just like <laughs> stupid ass bro. cat is funny, dude. That's how I feel driving. Period. I know, right? I'm just like it's like a certain focus, bro, like. <laughs> it feels good too, I don't know why. Alright, so I think we got here. Okay, yeah, yeah. I already knew where we're at because like I was gonna go straight and I wasn't even looking at my maps, but I know where to go now. Oh, here it goes, cool. Skate park in the back. Oh shit, let me see. There's not gonna be no parking. I'm gonna have to make my own parking like the dagger wagon style. Poor, 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 poor. 
All right. Some more of that little cat turns. About to pull up on these fools. All right. See where that motherfucker is at with my money. All right. Oh, like I see a spot for me right already. Oh, I'm gonna pull on a whack ass spot, but fuck it, I'm gonna pull one. Okay, so we just got to Redland Skate Park and uh, let's see how an event goes with Vincent. And we're greeted by teammates upon arrival. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, and by the way, this is Tanya, Hello. and this is Chad. Chad, how you doing, mate? And Michael. Tanya is his beautiful wife. Nice to meet Michael. you. Nice to meet you. I'm my I have a professional life. skateboarder too. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. But this park's just not up to her par, Let's so go. she won't skate. You probably won't see her skate here, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's do this. We're going in. We're good. Yep. Yeah. We're see you in a second. All right. All right. Hey, go. Um. So, here we go. This is um. <laughs> Obviously the fucking best taco spot you can have. Everybody knows that, dude. The reason why it's called Shove It Tacos is because right when you get it, you want to shove it in your fucking mouth. So that's why they call it Shove It Tacos. But today, I'll be letting you guys see my signature model for them. It's a Shove It Burrito. I am gassing these tacos the fuck up right now. I don't even know what half this shit is, but I'm fucking gonna get diarrhea eating it, though. I don't give a fuck. What, uh, what is this? I don't know. Said, I'm fucking diarrhea eat. while he's eating. I'm gonna oh put all this sauce in those that sauce will fuck your <laughs> stomach up, dude. It will. Look, this one right here. That shit about to serve you well. Oh, that's too spicy for my ass. You want that one? Right. There you go. Okay. The day in the life. Oh, yes, sir. This motherfucker right here. They don't like shove tacos, they like shove it burritos. But we, did, we fucked up today. Yeah, we fucked up today. I, I told you guys I have my own zone burrito, dude. You do. I preached about it like it's earlier on. It's rain on him, dog. We'll just dump all this shit all over him, dog. Make him feel like he's in a shower, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Like, I get around too. Let's <laughs> go. That's what we're doing today. No. All right, so let's go give these fucking boards to the judges or whatever, and let's just throw one out just to like you know just to get get the shit started, all right? Let's right. see, let's see. I mean, we're just gonna give it to the kids, but the way I like to do it is I like to do it really chaotic like yeah. this. <laughs> let's see, somebody will catch on. Yo! He almost lost his own board doing yeah. that shit. That's that <laughs> so you guys are part of my whole day's life. <laughs> what? Ah! One, two, three. Got it. Got it. Well, I guess this is going up. 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 Yo, give it up for Rick fucking Thor, man. Steve has such a such a I'm chub. A, I'm a man crush, I'm not gonna lie. I saw Rick Thor on a Blink-182 DVD in 2001. <laughs> This is my teammate and this is also my rider. He's gonna kill it. He's also gonna show you guys a fantastic show today. So you know, I hope you guys enjoy, right? Oh Sweet. man! Yeah. Kill it, dagger life. I'm yeah, gonna do it. <laughs> It's always fun, you know? <laughs> Uh, 
All right, that's Vizio in those shirts with the big old front. And here we go, we got Nachi coming in. Yeah. Doing the favorite Nachi. Here's Red, he's got a little Red on his elbow. I don't know what that's called, but uh, that's the red move. Press yourself. And so literally, since I'm judging, it's going to be the guy who goes the furthest because he's earned them pressing their boundary because he's going to win the 100 bucks. All right, here we got Keith coming in, Fakey. Quick style. Going again for that. All of you, front side. Vince right behind him. Trip to Fakey. Flying over. Woo. Smith. Now she's going Fakey. Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna give you each three runs. So you're gonna get three runs, and if everybody keeps falling, then we'll just keep going until you guys make something. All right, this, this guy is pretty fun to watch skateboarding. To Fakey. Are you keeping me? All right, Nachi, you're up. The boner to Fakey. All right, here goes Nachi. Desmond, you're up on deck. All right, it's not your first trick. Oh, the flying gear, the flying gear. All right, let's get up with Nachi. Desmond, you're up. Where's Desmond? All right, Desmond, Red, you're out, you're on deck. Vincent, you're after, uh, you're after Red. All right, here comes Desmond. Yeah. Vincent, you're next. All right, here's Red. Oh, no! All right, this is another guy that's got some mad skills. Last contest we were at, he did this sh All right, come on, Keith, make, make, your, make your trick, buddy. All right, that was an air walk to Fakey, by the way, by Vincent. All right, here goes Keith. Check this out. Oh, there you go. Oh, Benny Hanna to Fakey. All right, Anthony, you're up. All right, Anthony's going for the backside D to board of the gnarly wall. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That was pretty smooth. All right, back run. All right, Chad, you're up. Where's Chad? All right, Chad after Chad, Nachi, you're on deck. Second time around right here, Chad. All right, let's give it up for Chad. Here comes Nachi. Nachi had a flying gill his first trick. Here you go, watch this one. Huge layback. Huge layback here. All right, Nachi, got it. Good job. Desmond, you're up. Come on, stay in your board, Desmond. All right, here goes Desmond. Yeah, he was going for the Nolly Cab or something. I think I'm right. And Vincent, you're after him. Vincent had a great first run with uh, Airwalk to Faking. All right. Doing the fancy dancy. All right, Vincent, you're up. Vincent? All right, here comes Vincent. Okay, watch this one. This guy usually goes by. Watch this. Right side here. 
All right, back to double order, Keith. Keith. All right, come on, come on, Keith. You got to get one under your belt, buddy. You know what? This air, this is still up in the air, guys. Nobody's really stuck out yet. So what's his best trick going to be? Oh, that was pretty cool. Smith grind off the end. All right, Chad. Get it, Chad. What you got, Chad? Chad got a clean frontside ball in the 360 in the beginning. Oh my God! I'll do frontside 50-50 to back. Backwards in the air in. Hello, Bob Bergquist. How you doing, buddy? All right, Nachi, you're up. Good job, Chad. Nachi's, Nachi's coming in hot. Nachi's got two good runs going. Oh, perfectly clean. All right, Desmond, you're up. Hey, make it, Des. Red, you're up after that. Good job, yeah, B planter board. That was pretty smooth. All right, Vincent. What you got, Vincent? Oh no! Bonus by forty. Uh oh. All right. All right, goes Key. Up to the key call, that was pretty sick. Chat. Okay, you got it, bro. Vincent. Yeah, you got a nice tail slide. All right, Vincent. I think we got a tie for. All right, we got last one. One more. What's he got going here? Yeah, all right. All right, let's give it up for the skaters. Come on now. Why are you doing first try? What the fuck? I didn't Yeah. Alright, so uh, after Red's gonna be Jack. Yeah, Red. Alright, let's give it up. Let's give it up to Red. Imagine he goes back in. Alright, Jack, you're up. Yeah, that's it. We sponsor him. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you're up. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Hey, 
Yeah. Thank, thank Amelia from Leanap. She donated some money, dude. Thank you, Amelia from Leanap. Now we got gas to go home, or else we weren't gonna make it home, bro. <laughs> Hey, Vince. Right yeah. So explain to them what these are, pretty much. So it's a new, new kind of hardware. It's called Dual Links. Uh, basically, it's it's like a, a bracket that goes onto your uh, your trucks and holds them together. Way better. It's a, like a tiny bit uh, heavier than uh, traditional hardware. I don't feel it. I haven't felt it at all. Um, they're by far the best hardware I've ever used. Go, right. dude. Maybe yeah. should try. Thanks for blessing us, bro. Yeah, yeah man, man. Of course, of course. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Let me see if I, I. Stab it. Yeah, cut it off. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Uh, hold on. Hold on. These motherfuckers be trying to play your ass over here. Let me do it like they do my ass every time. All right, that's real. Hold on. Hold on. All right, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> My shirt. All right, let's start getting it going. <laughs> Next time I'll have your shirt, okay? I'm sorry. You said medium or small? Medium, okay, I got you next time. Yeah. All right. Why don't you just steal it from here? No, just... We out, we out. You got a medium shirt, huh? Hey, you got a medium. Micah went through a phase of... You have a good day. You too. Peace out. My favorite. Michael went, Michael went through a little bit. He has a lot of hair. I know, I love my baby girl. She's so amazing. That's why I'm going to have a good day, okay? All right, nice to see you. Nice to see you guys have too. Have a good one. I got to drive all the way back to Fullerton. All right, my dude. I'm, keeping drive, going. I'm almost done filming. We're good. Almost Keep done. Riding. We're Randy and Timmy and Timmy and Randy. Oh, dude, do you want me to fucking kill them over there and just pull them by the neck? No. Be like, hey, where's their ponytail? I'll just fucking in. Pull them, pull them, pull them, pull them. All right, I'm almost done. Where's my you fucking like boys? Peace out. out. Like, love you, brother. Love like, you too. Heck yeah, Mickey. That's Have a good awesome. day. Peace out. All right, peace out, brother. I'm just leaving? kidding. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going, going with you. No, we're actually going to go up to Russia. Your shirt's amazing. I know. Look at that shirt right there. We got that from Mexico, my friend. So you. Mano sucias, Mexico. Fuck skateboarding. You guys have a good day, okay? All right. Oh, Randy, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll catch you on the first bike. Good day, Randy. Okay. Well, that's about. Not usually a normal day about like what I'll be doing all these, but I usually find myself doing shit like this all the time, whether I like it or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed like a little day in the life of Vincent, you know? Cause this is, you know, this is the life. And I hope you guys enjoyed it again. So, you know, you guys have a good day, right? Okay. All right, Actually. got a little Morty set and everything. So, that's usually a day-to-day -day basis of what Vincent Luevenos does. It's not every day that I go to competition, make a bunch of money, but it just happened to be a fucking good day today. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Special thanks to TSM, special thanks to Michael Bell, special thanks to Dagger Skateboards for a wonderful fucking day. I hope you guys enjoy and have a good one. Yeah!